Up buddy nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Yashiman chapter 17. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because of course this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored and not. We ain't sponsored by uh, Shueisha and not. We ain't sponsored by Manga Plus and not. We ain't sponsored by Viz and Considering how much I promote the Manga Plus app on this channel, it's kind of surprising I'm not already. <sighs> Maybe someday we will be. And I'm just on a non-stop high-speed struggle chain hitting into chaos and getting faster by the second. We're talking panic attack, migraine, and just in half a speed levels of struggle up in the off. Oh, seriously, I'm struggling to keep a roof over my head. It is pretty goddamn bad. Oh, but, but, but if you love what we're doing and want to help keep this channel... Alive and kicking, feel free to hit up my Cash App and PayPal. Those links are in the description box below. So, well, last chapter after um, 10, our adorable Pikmin 10 made Papa Olimar proud. Maru was doing his thing against Cotton and the uh, um, telepathy big sis Rara, you know, was kind of helping him out. Maru is, of course, having a special sparkle moment, of course. Um, but it's really adorable because Urara was saying, nah, I'm not going to go with Cotton at all. We, I'm your ride or die. You're my ride or die. If you if you don't win, I'm not going with these fuckers. They're just going to have to deal with it. And I'm so, so happy. And I ship and I live. I do. Anyways, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week and this chapter is titled welcome all right all right ug let's see what you're giving me Ooh, i love cotton's design we going straight up ninja today full speed tiger soul dash Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> we're going we're, we're getting an awakening here see this is why i ship because we're getting an awakening. Ships usually lead to this. Ooh. Damn it, soaked up so much water I can barely move. If I eat one uh, one of Maru's punches like this, I'm... Your goal may be to crush us completely, but we aren't out to crush you. Our goal is to never lose again. Even if we don't win, we won't lose. What? So we're going to be centrist on it. <laughs> Even if we don't win, we won't lose. So we're just going to tie? Well, I guess if we tie, we gain more allies along the way. That works. Because <laughs> let's be real, there's always the third option. <laughs> well, you won this one, Rara Gang. Yes, we did. Haru! Ah, hey, Elder Sister. I won! Man, that was a first for me. That fight was so fun. <laughs> Of course he collapsed. Maru, Maru, are you okay? Oh, don't panic, miss. He's just unconscious, that's all. But what if it's more than that? He's only human. Um, I've seen enough human car wrecks to know, really. <laughs> of course. Aw. He's pretty important to you, huh? You run a good gang. See? Cotton sees the ship. I'm glad we're on the same page, Cotton. Those are some damn big wings you've got, Maru. Yeah. Of course. Ooh, that's a beautiful anatomical art. Look at that. Look, his, look, his inner child is so proud of him. I love it. He's like, oh, I did it. I did it. I'm becoming a manga protagonist. Can't. Hmm? Huh? Big bro, hey, big bro, hey, you awake now? If you are, then hold yourself up. What? Whoa, I'm on a bike? Are we out to a rally? <laughs> cool, a real biker gang. <laughs> tomorrow. That bike is beautiful. Oh, you do, you are. Oh, don't give me a beautiful bike here. 
Dude, look at the parts. The engine looks great. The wheels look good. Hey, elder sister. Um, elder sister? I told her not to talk or she'd bite her tongue. Guess she'd take, she's taking it literally. Apparently, this is the first time she's been on a motorcycle. You won this time, yeah, but th uh, that was just this once. You won't get so lucky next time. Aw, you a sore loser. <laughs> What'd you just say, punk? Try saying that again in my face. Oh, I'll say it as many times as I want. <laughs> Are you jackass? What? Why you? Later, quit. Later, quit. It's your short fuse again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right, gotcha. The ritual duel is a battle of souls. The results stand no matter what. Kid, no, Maru. As of tonight, all 2,000 riders of the Todoroki Alliance are um are on your side. Yee! Dude! <gasps> these designs are freaking lit. I love these designs. That one in the back, that... Uh, the Cyclops. That's fucking lit. I love it. Welcome to our speed, miss. You know, sometimes you say uh, things I just don't get. He's just a special sparkle. What can I say? Yeah, this is awesome. The wind feels great. Motorcycles are the best. Woohoo! This after you trashed my Harley. <laughs> Yeah, Ten. Ten is becoming a biker. He's becoming a biker, Pikmin. Yeah. What will Olimar say? Oh my god. Would Olimar become... No, Papa Olimar. What would, you... what would you say to your rebellious Pikmin? Especially since he trashed a Harley. I think, um, I think Papa Olimar would be proud of this, because... No, Olimar would probably want to ride a Harley, too. <laughs> Hate to admit it, but you gotta respect the guy. You're, impre uh, you're impressive for a human. Not bad, Maru. I'm oh, sorry, not bad, Maru. Ten's got a point. The wind does feel good. We ain't giving you a ride just to feel the wind. It's hard for others to overhear us when we're running full throttle. Cotton, go on and tell them. Um, they should know what happened with Emma two years ago. <gasps> what? I cut all ties with the Emma Syndicate when Omi and Kyo kicked the bucket. I ex uh, exchanged um, Sakaku wait, Sakazuki um, cups with him alone. I never joined the Syndicate itself. Ooh, with him gone, why stick around? Now we're independent and ride where we please. He is smart. He's smart. Khan is fucking smart for this. He doesn't give a fuck about the rest of the syndicate. Why? He only cared about Emma. You don't need to be loyal to the rest of the syndicate. You only exchanged, only exchanged cups with Emma. So, fuck y'all. Emma's not here? Screw you. I'm out. <laughs> Khan, you sneaky bastard. Besides, the Emma syndicate today is no Yakuza game. They're just a bunch, a pack of thugs. Especially with him in charge. Cotton, you asshole. I love it. Uh, I would suggest moving. Uh, see, that's your jugular I cut. But I froze your blood over, uh, blood over it just in time. Move too much and your body heat will warm it up. And then there will be blood all over your nice suit. Ooh. I'm curious what you guys think about what Cotton said. That they ain't Yakuza. That they're just thugs. Hmm. Dabo, what's the meaning of all this? I've been with Emma for longer than you. I, I know, sir, I know, but I figure even in the underworld should rank merit over seniority? The Emma Syndicate needs restructuring. A whole, a whole lot of uh, old guard don't like how you... Um, a, a whole lot of the old guard don't like how you do things, Dabo. Make a mockery of honor like this and the 10,000 members across the whole country will be up in arms. Yeah... I see what, what Cotton means by a bunch of thugs. Bro, you have no honor. Yakuza's all about honor. You are thugging out, bro. This ain't, this ain't honor. Honor, ugh, can you maybe trot that old chestnut out later? Like, way later? You dishonored the Yakuza, my dude.
dishonor on you. Dishonor. After everything's done and Kabika uh, uh, is back in uh, back in our control. Oh fucking a! I screwed this up. I'm sorry. Honor. Ugh. Can you maybe trot that old chestnut out later, like way later? After everything's done and Kabika Cho is back in our control. <sighs> Yuji. I love this art. See, Yuji gives me everything. He does. I love when we get... Uh, let me go back to this in regards to um, Cotton talking about the Amasidika, talking about Dapo. That transition is everything. It's going from the black. Well, we get the shock from Rara, obviously, and then the white. And then going to the all black with the narration, and then with the especially with him in charge. He's got the, bl the black and white, the gradation. And then the ice. Oh, that ice with the blood on it. Is everything. Oh, God. Yuji, I love your art. art. And then everyone is shook it. And then lights come on and we're in the room. I think that's great. And then look at, look at this motherfucker. Look at Dapo. Dapo looks like a bitch. Yes, he does. Anyways. Um, if you're okay with what, uh, with just what I know, fine, I'll tell you. What happened with old man Kia with the Emma Syndicate and with that Dapo kid too? Dude, look at Dapo. He looks very familiar, doesn't he? Who does he remind me of? Wait a minute, hold on. Nah, his hair looks better. Than the character I was thinking of. But man, it's a bull. Oh, God, it's a bull cut. Of course, it's a bull cut. He does look like a little punk bitch, doesn't he? Mm hmm. I can't wait to find out about what happened with the Emma City Kit. Can you, kitties? Yeah, I can't. Kitty can't wait. Right, Sanos? Good kitties. He's such a good kitty. Anyways, I really do like this chapter a lot. I, kitty likes it too. Right, Daniel? Anyways, um, I really like this chapter a lot. I love the art in this chapter. I love that we're writing with uh, the Todoroki Alliance. I love that everything is confirmed. Um, that we're part of the Alliance. And uh, as I said, I love the transition into the whole thing with the... Uh, um, with Dapo. I love everything with the transition to Dapo. And I like what Cotton is saying. Because I didn't think about it when we were fighting Dapo at the time. Or when we met Dapo at the time. But it's really, really true that what he's... And you can even say that um, this what Dapo is doing is more... I would say it's more like cartel kind of stuff like you, what we see with the um mexican slash central american well latin american is probably the right wording the latin american cartels the type of stuff that we're seeing here when i say a little bit more of like the mafia i can't say they like the italian mafia i don't know if i could say it's like the italian mafia or I can maybe picture the Russian Mafia doing it, maybe. Because with the Italian Mafia, the Italian Mafia, Italian mafia is is a, a lot about honor as well. And honor and family and all that. The only difference between like the Italian Mafia and the Yakuza, from what I know, is the Yakuza is a lot more brutal. Um, especially when you break your promises. And you don't, uh, and you dishonor them. Yakuza are a lot more brutal. Than, um, than the Italian mafia. But, and I think that, that's why I'm like thinking, I think the Russian mafia has got to be included in this the conversation as well. But, yeah, I think this is more like shit that we see from like the cartel. And uh, cartels, yeah, this is like a technique we see in the cartels. But the Colombians, it's all about the bow tie, especially. 
or not bow tie, it's about the tie. There we go. But I'm very curious what you guys think of this chapter. I really like this chapter a lot. I like that. I love how Ten has become a biker. He's becoming a bike, uh, biker Pikmin. <laughs> Papa Olimar is probably, Papa Olimar is proud. He's like, damn, my boy, my, my boy's all grown up. He's become, a, he's become a biker. And now he's got to get a bike from me. And we're going to, and as soon as I come down to earth, we're going to ride the town. <laughs> But the other thing I really like is what Cotton was saying in regards to um, his allegiances, where he's like, you know what? I only shared cups with uh, um, and shared my allegiances with Emma. None of the other motherfuckers. Screw them. So why should I do anything with this motherfucker? And I like that a lot. But the other thing that was said about from the other members of the old guard, it's like, you ain't, you you ain't Yakuza what you're doing. You're gonna get, you're gonna get some, um, uh, you're gonna get the, you're gonna see like a, um, a revolution. You're gonna see a coup. They're gonna come after your ass. And I believe it. And I'm not gonna lie, we kind of saw this in Kang and Omega recently. But, um, with the, um, oh God, the Westward, um, uh, Kiri clan. But, the Westward Curi the Westward Curies were just a it was a little bit different with their tra their tradition was really fucked up. It wasn't about honor and shit like that. Nah, it was really, really, really different. But I'm very curious what you guys think in regards to this. Do you guys think that um, that Todoroki is that Cotton is right that this is that Dapo is becoming more of a thug. I think it's going in more of a cartel direction. That's what it seems like to me. Um, and I'm curious if uh, Yuji got inspired by that. And what do you think about um, what do you think about the art? And what do you think about what Maro said? And I love that Maro was um, uh, what Maro was dreaming about with his with his with his inner child looking up at him and being like, "Yes, I did it." <laughs> that. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdy and Sync. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive and kicking so I can keep bringing you more uh, Ayashimon content, a few ways you can do that. Donate to my cash app, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something on my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, um, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.